has never been easier to create a Gorilla Tag fan game. In fact, it is now so easy that I'm gonna show you how to do it in under five minutes. Let's get started. All right, guys, step number one in this tutorial is you need to make sure that you have the Unity game engine installed and working on your device. To get Unity installed on your device, guys, just search Unity in any search engine. You're gonna come down here to this creative projects, whatever. You're gonna go to this download window for Unity's and that'll install this Unity hub setup executable, okay? Once you have that thing installed on your device, it should launch a program that looks something like this. This is where you launch all of your Unity projects from. But before you launch any of your projects, you need to make sure you have a, a version of the Unity editor installed on your device. So you're going to come over here to installs. And for this one, guys, we're going to be using Unity 6. So make sure that you install editor. You're going to hit install editor. Unity 6.0. We'll just use this one. Make sure you have Android build support, open JDK, Android tools, and Windows build support, IL2 CPP. Hit continue. Agree to the terms and conditions, sell your soul, it doesn't really matter. And once that is all installed, you are gonna be ready to go on to the next part. While you're waiting for Unity to install, if you're still waiting for it to install, the next step is that you need to go to this GitHub repo right here. I will leave links to all this stuff, guys, down in the description below, so don't worry about it. Go to this link, guys, go to this GitHub repo, and you're gonna go down to this little part right here where it says getting started, and hit this download link, okay? Hitting this download link will give you this little package right here called the Gorilla template. Once you get that thing, guys, you're going to to double click it and extract it and please 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 remember where you've extracted it because that's going to be very important in the next step of this okay once you extract it you should have a folder that looks like this again remember where you've extracted it to because you're going to need that in the next part of this tutorial once the unity editor is all installed you'll see this little install complete guys you're going to come over here to the projects tab and you're going to hit add and add project from disk from here you need to go find the gorilla tag template that you extracted and you're gonna go into this folder, this folder, and you're gonna hit this Gorilla Tag template folder right here and hit open. Once you hit open, guys, you should see it pop up in this little list of projects. All you gotta do now is click that project. It should open up the project from there, guys. It'll take a little minute to compile everything, but that is the next step. Once the project is done compiling, guys, you should see something like this. Welcome to the Unity Editor window, okay? This is what it looks like, and it's a bit overwhelming, so let me give you a quick tour of what's all going on. This right here is your game displayed in a three-dimensional version. Okay, this is a pretty empty game with nothing but a sky and a ground in it. All right over here in the hierarchy This gives you kind of a text version of what you're seeing in 3d So you can click on things and when you click on something It'll give you more information over here in the inspector window down here guys You have the console the console gives you errors and stuff that are happening with your code and whatnot And then you have this tab This is the project tab This tells you all of the files and things that you have associated with your project So what we want to do right here guys to get our gorilla tag fan game working as fast as possible is we we want to go down here into assets gorilla tag template and we got on, we want to click on this and go into demo scenes multiplayer demo scene all right if you get something that says save or don't save you probably just can hit don't save you didn't make any meaningful changes that need to be saved and once you come into here guys you have a completely ready to go gorilla tag fan game template okay some of the key features that you need to see right here guys is you have a computer where you can change your name adjust the color of your gorilla and also a couple of other features like changing the uh, movement mechanics and stuff over here you have the ability to connect to different rooms and buttons that work for connecting with those rooms and then right here you have the ability to create private rooms and connect to said private rooms all using this little number pad and then right here guys this will show all of the current per people in your lobby with the ability to both mute them and mute yourself or when you are in those lobbies over here you have a little mirror I know it doesn't look like it but trust me guys it's a mirror and then right here a little rules board for doing that okay this is totally ready to go guys it even has the infection game mode all set up for you literally if you were to just build this to your side set you would have a completely functioning gorilla tag game but it will not work with multiplayer until you do the following steps to get the multiplayer working with this template guys all you got to do is go over to normcore.io.com it'll look something like this and you're going to want to click on dashboard if you're not already logged in and you haven't created an account guys just go over here and sign up it's totally free guys sign up for their free account right here and then once you're done signing up you will see the following page once you've all signed in and whatnot you should see a page that looks something like this you're going to want to go over here to this button right here that says create an application. Once you've created an application, guys, it'll pop up with this little blue button. Hit that little button, guys, and create a name for your application. It really does not matter what name you create for this application, guys. Just create something, and once you've created it, you should see something that looks like this. You're gonna wanna take this app here right here and copy it, which you can do by pressing this little copy button, and then go back into the Unity Editor. Once you're back in here, guys, click on this real-time plus gorilla avatar object in the hierarchy. Once you've clicked on the real-time gorilla avatar asset, guys, over here in the inspector, you should see this real-time script. You're 
gonna wanna come down to where it says app key and copy and paste that app key into it, okay? Once you've pasted in that app key, guys, you are ready to go for multiplayer. The template is set up to automatically connect you into a multiplayer room. And if you build this to your headset and build it to other people's headset, they will be able to jump in and play a multiplayer tag with you guys inside this template. It is 100% ready to go. And if you guys want me to show you exactly how to build it to your headset and get it distributed on platforms like SideQuest, let me know by liking this video and commenting that you want me to do so. So anyway, at this point, guys, you have a fully functioning Gorilla Tag fan game. Congratulations. As a little piece of bonus content right here, guys, I'm going to show you how to jump into this game right now inside of Steam VR so that you can test some of these things out, okay? So if you have SteamVR installed on your computer, all you got to do to get it working with this template is you got to go into here, guys, go into edit. You're going to go to project settings. You're going to come down to this little part at the very bottom here where it says XR plugin management. And in this little thing that looks like a desktop or like a monitor, you're going to want to hit open XR. Okay, check the box next to open XR and that will install a couple of packages. Don't worry, you're not breaking anything and this is exactly what needs to happen. Okay, once it's done compiling all the stuff it needs to compile. Once you have that checked, you're going to see that it has a little check mark by it. Okay, you're going to want to go down below it. You should now see a little open XR thing again over here on this little monitor looking thing. You're going to want to hit this little plus. Hit uh, Oculus uh, Touch Controller Profile. You can also hit the Valve Intrex Control Profile. Not necessary, but kind of nice to have. And if you hit play right here and you're running Steam VR, it, it will launch you straight into this game and let you mess around with all the stuff that is in this scene. So here you go. You can see that we're in the scene. I've got all my monkey fingers going. I can move around. I can come up to the buttons and push them and whatnot. I can see that I have my name up here and the ability to mute myself and unmute myself. If there's other people in the server, guys, you will see their names pop up right here as well with the option to mute them. And then over here, you've got the computer with all that stuff. And then this awesome little mirror with the ability to see this fantastic little avatar they've created for you. And yeah, you know, rules and stuff. This is an excellent way for you guys to prototype things, test things out, and be able to test it really fast by just using SteamVR to jump straight into the project like this. Now, some of you guys might be wondering how much does it cost to run the multiplayer networking solution? I gotta say that Normal, the team who created this template and who also provides the Normcore networking solution, has an extremely generous free tier for you guys to mess around with, okay? It gets up to 30 people into the game with 10 rooms and up to like a one hour session limit. It's extremely useful for any indie dev who just wants to mess around and try something else. We actually use the unlimited version of this plan, guys, for cell VR and hard drive and our new game, Monsters and Mazes. So I can't recommend the normal and norm core networking solution team enough it is awesome and they were also the guys that provided this entire template for you guys because they want to see more indie developers create awesome stuff in virtual reality if you guys need any additional help with this template and getting things working the team behind it has created their own discord dedicated to helping people like you getting this thing working so i have linked that down in the description below and if you'd like to see me do more tutorial videos like this let me know by liking this video subscribing to the channel and comment in the comment section what tutorial you guys need next i'm excited to see what games you guys create and i'll see you on the next one bye